Oh, okay, we're on YouTube. <laughs> and we're slowly getting on to Let's Go Help too. So I'm gonna to to use a lot of time uh, really to answer questions from members because they're the paying people. Oh, Megan's there. Megan, can you go and uh, will you be able to uh, just uh, act like me here and help people with questions? And if they help with your question, that'd be great. <laughs> you want to point them to your stuff, but uh, I saw your message, but I wasn't really sure. I'm so confused about what you really offer. So, I, um, but see what I do. Think about that. Uh, we'll, we'll talk about that later. But everybody, I got now. I'm going to put this in the. Uh, uh, in the chat, okay? These are 15 program, 12 programs uh, that I have. And uh, these are all new and they're very interesting. And, and see what I think it's best to learn from things that are there, even though they're, you're not eligible for, because that's the best way to learn. In other words, you have a, a, a problem that you wanna solve, uh, you know, and you need money to solve that problem. But the key is, how do you not have your problem and find money to solve your problem? You have to find the money that's out there and how to use it for your problem, see? So that's why it won't be advertised as your problem. Uh, but if I could train you and teach you more about what is available, uh, where to find it, and things like that. So the best way I know is to show you examples of the kinds of things uh, that are out there today uh, and how you could fit possibly what your financial problem is <laughs> into what is what is the kinds of things that are out there. But now every program that I talk about today, particularly these 12 I, I have for you, uh, that they may or may not be something similar where you live, okay? So that's the key. But see, now what to me what it does it, it, it is give you a topic, an area, uh, or whatever, and a direction and said, shit, I got a problem. Where's the help for my problem? No, 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 no. You can't do that. You can, but it's just going to, your odds are low <laughs> and it'll take you longer to find the help. So what I'm trying to do is teach you about, you know, how the system is all set up and how you could easily get through it if you don't fight it and try to make it the way you think it should be. <laughs> That's where I get in trouble. God damn it, why don't they make it this way? Yeah. <laughs> First of all, you had to be there at the time of creation, and you weren't. <laughs> and you're not going to be for the next one. It's a whole set of other people making up this stuff, and they have to follow laws and all this kind of stuff that, that really is, is, is stupid, but eh, fuck, you know, <laughs> you want to use it? Man, the people out there who, who take advantage of the who they use what's there and figure out how to use it. You're not going to change the p path of the river. Well, you can, I guess. You make a dam or something. <laughs> and people do that. But individuals, to survive in this society, you, you just got to know where the way is. Sort of like if you're a surfer, you, you don't push the waves, waves going another way. To, to get on something and ride, you got to know where the wave is going and, and and, and hop on to it. That's the best way. I mean, if you have resources and a lot of money and help and influence, sure, you could change the, 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 the way the river runs or the waves come in. Yeah, sure, that's always possible. And maybe it's, it, it is, and you want to do that, and that's fine. I mean, that, that's a bigger mission. But if your mission is, man, number one is support yourself, <laughs> and number two is to help other people, uh, and, and that's the way I, I think we all are uh, inclined to live. Uh, one, we want to support ourselves. Two, then we want to make a contribution to a loved one, to society, or whatever. And I am so fucking happy. <laughs> <laughs> that I'm able to do that. <laughs> I am having the best time of my whole life, and I'm 80 years old. So the, uh, uh, I'm switching to my career. <laughs> okay, and, and that is, uh, I, I just can't believe how, how spoiled I am. And, and, and all you people and members, man, you show me so much love. I, I never had so much love in my whole life. 
you know, been on New York Times bestsellers and I'm a really nice family and all that, but I never felt love like you guys. I mean, I, I don't know what's to me. And, and now at my age, man, that's all I want to do is love as hard as I can. You know, uh, and that's why I give money away as much as I can. We feed ourselves, we take care of our, our uh, people that are helping you, uh, and we'll give you stipends if you help other members. So please, if you're a member, and, and if you've got money in any way from me, from anybody else, so that you could show your, that you are alive for a, a you know, half hour, an hour, whatever you want, and, and, and that people, when they come on uh, the Let's Go Help too, they, hey, there's, I can ask them a question. Because it, it is complicated. You know, even, you know, I, I, I try to make it as uncomplicated as possible, but the government is complicated. So it's hard to take, you know, uh, 500 cats and make them all do the right thing, you know. And that's what the, the government is. <laughs> so it's important uh, that, that you... Uh, Oh, fuck, I don't know. I mean, important that you follow your heart. I mean, it was, wasn't only until I got older that I found out uh, that my heart is smarter than my brain. You know, because your brain, you know, you want to do the right thing and you take all this uh, information and you, you get all the help and the experts and all that kind of stuff, and it still doesn't work, you know. That's why I was failing at everything. I said, shit, you know, I don't want to fail. Yeah, so I'm going to be miserable doing something. Tell me, somebody tells me I could make money at or or survive with or whatever, and it doesn't work, and I don't have fun doing it because I'm trying to follow somebody else's, you know, uh, method that worked for them. You know, we're all different animals, and everything will work different for everybody. Uh, and that's the important thing. And if you don't realize that, then you just keep going around in circles and keep trying stuff that you fail. Because the problem is if you're using somebody else's technique that failed, you, you, you're just going to say, well, I knew he was a bullshitter and it wouldn't work. And then you don't learn it. See, the key is learning to fail. So when you learn to walk, you know, you take a foot forward, a little kid. I mean, when I, my kids were growing, it was fun to watch this. They grab on the uh, coffee table and then, then they take a foot out and they fall on their ass and then they crawl back to the coffee table and try it again. Now, if I said, and this is the problem we have from advice, people, you know, you want to do something, uh, say you want to help uh, birth moms <laughs> you know, survive. You know, nobody takes care of birth mom. Take care of the child, but what about the mom? Okay, and, and we have a member who does that, and she's Megan. She's right here, a wonderful human being, doing wonderful work. Uh, and so, if you're trying out, like she is, trying to do something, figuring out, she's falling her ass every day, just like when she learned to walk. This is something new she's never done. Uh, I've never done it before, so I give her some advice and whatever, and cut through some of the stuff, but not the real way to do it. If you don't do it yourself, and, and it's not coming from your heart, you want to, not going to learn enough to, so you don't fall on your ass the next time again. At least that way, you'll fall on your ass another way. <laughs> But you got to take apart what was wrong with what you did, yeah, and, and, and go uh, go after it that way. And, and that's the important thing. Uh, so let me go through this list, and then I'll take some questions and uh, whatever. To do. And by the way, people on YouTube, I'm going to put this list on. i got 15 websites here. No, 12, right? 12. Okay, 12 websites. They're all pretty cool. So you could see. Use these websites to say, oh, that's there. I wonder where that is where I live, okay? And, and there's ways to do that. Uh, um, the, if you're a member, we, you, you tell us, hey, where would I look for this, where it is? If you're not a member, uh, then you go to places like findhelp.org. Uh, you're elected official. Uh, if it's a business thing, you go to uh, SBDC. Uh, Americas, A-M-E-R-I-C-A-S, and then sbdc.org, and get free help there. They'll help you locate money programs for anything, if you're a freelancer or a nonprofit like Mega, uh, or whatever. And, uh, or if it's something with finances and personal finance, you make an appointment with a free financial counselor. And those you could find at hud.gov, H-U-D dot G-O-V, okay? Oh, slash counseling. Okay, I forgot that. Okay, here, here's a program. You get a 300, home, 300 homes are going to get $30,000 a piece for home repair. Okay, $30,000. So I have it set up for $30,000 a piece to get a home repair. Okay, that's item number one. Uh, 
or here's here's an interesting item. Uh, they have data now that the, those who took a personal finance class in high school, so personal finance class is worth one personal finance class is worth a hundred thousand dollars. Okay. Uh, and that's what it's worth to you if you know the system a little and, and by learning the system. Now, if you want to do that now as a grown-up, you missed it in high school, you go to that program I just said, you know, hud.gov slash counseling. You make an appointment, talk to them, and actually, Megan is a, a Megan, are you still here? This is, a, you, they'll teach you personal finance to help other people with personal finance. Megan, are you still here? You say you're switching computers. But she took it. So if you see this, she took something called Money Masters. This is a, a, a program at the Department of Agriculture, and, and it's in every county. You don't have to be out in the sticks or the woods or the farm or whatever. No, this is a free course you could take in order that you could help other people with their financial problems. And it's like, I, I forget what it is. It's uh, personal. You know, you sit down with people and learn. You do it online and things like that. But this is a free course you could take to be a financial counselor. Wow. Um, Megan, are you still there yet? <laughs> uh, if anybody sees Megan, uh, uh, give her a shout or whatever. Because uh, she, and she's a great member. I'm trying to get her to help you guys too, like I do. Uh, and anybody who's a member that want to help other people. And really the reason I do it is sure. Uh, so people... Um, uh, it's a financial motive because if you're getting help here, then maybe you'll stay longer and we can stay in business longer and, and help other people. And, and that's, uh, that's a motive. But the other motive is, it's sort of like why I'm in business is, man, you don't know how fun it is, how rewarding it is to be able to have something that helps somebody another. And, and you don't have to know anything. You don't have to be 50 years in the business. You can be 15 minutes as long as you got a grant somewhere from the government or from me or whatever. And, and you're kind. That's all. Kindness is how you help other people. And that's the only thing you have to remember in helping. You don't tell people what to do. You help them do something. Uh, a good lover is not someone who tells other people what to do. A good lover is helping them do. So try this, maybe this, or whatever. Not your stupid ass. What'd you do that for? <laughs> this is the way. And you don't know. We don't know. I mean, we don't know how to tell somebody else to live. We don't know how to tell ourselves how to live. We all struggle with that every single day of our lives. <laughs> <laughs> and we work on that hard. So to think that this person just woke up, and, oh, I'm going to do the stupid thing. <laughs> no, they thought that through a lot. <laughs> that was the best they could do. <laughs> you will get half a little lube. <laughs> uh, so money masters. Uh, are you back, Mike, Megan? Uh, Money Masters, you go to your local uh, county cooperative extension service. Even if you're in Manhattan or anywhere, uh, they all have a, a county cooperative extension service. So that's for the U.S. Department of Agriculture. Ask about the Money Masters program. Also, they teach you to be a gardener. <laughs> all kinds of neat things. <laughs> so, so, and and they do a lot of home, like, you know, old time home economics things and stuff like that. So actually, uh, and homeschoolers they help. So if you're schooling at home, they help a lot for that. Okay, so that's uh, personal finance. Okay, here's uh, a, a, a city that's giving in New York, uh, giving they have a billion and a half dollars for people to pay past, oh no, people to pay utility bills in 2024. So they got enough grant money, uh, one and a quarter billion dollars to pay utility bills, okay? Maybe you don't live in New York, okay? So what you have to learn about utility bills, there's more than one way to pay utility bills. Go to findhelp.org right now, put in your zip code, and put in utility bills. I know in mine, uh, I'll get 20, 30, 40 uh, nonprofit organizations that have utility bills. Now, these are gold. Every one of those people, even if those people are only helping vets and you're not a vet, even if these people are only helping seniors and you're, it doesn't matter. You want to talk to those people because these people spend their life helping people with utility bills. That's who you want to talk to, even though it's not for you. Because you want to know, hey, you're not for me, but you, can you suggest someone else? Because they're thinking about this subject all the time. You, this is the first time in your life you really had to worry about the utility bills or whatever. You're not going to know any more, uh, more than the, any of these people who do it every day, talk to people in trouble every day, and learn about other things, about where to get utility bills, okay? And that's what you have to do. So that's utility bills. So, uh, 
Uh-huh. Oh, here's an interesting thing. There's 17 states. Now, we, for COVID, what they did is they gave extra money to feed kids in the summer. Okay, if the kid's not in school, he doesn't get the free lunch, right? So they got up a program uh, to have uh, kids get free lunches during the summer. <laughs> okay, there's 17 states that refused the money. I mean, that's astounding to me. And I'm sure it's for an ideological thing. And, and that's, that's, you know, adm- admirable to keep your, 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 you know, uh, your values or whatever they are. But here, to me, it's something when it hurts 13 million kids who, who don't have enough food. <laughs> and you for values. Well, I mean, it's, it's sort of like, uh, you know, your, your arm gets run over by the train or something like that. And, oh, I don't believe in doctors. I'm not going to go to doctors. <laughs> Fuck me. <laughs> you want to have a, a half a high, arm broken <laughs> hanging off your, your shoulder <laughs> I think it'd be wise to go see a doctor right so there's things like that you got to put your uh, <laughs> your ideology aside for something more practical but I, I appreciate ideology we all have that and, and we should because it gives us a help of guideposts but we're wrong a lot of time man I've Changed my mind on so many things over the eight years. I thought I was right. And ain't. <laughs> okay, so that's kids. Are, okay, make people making under seventy-two thousand dollars get past utility bills forgiven. How do you like that? This is in Peoria. That's what they do. This is an Illinois program. So what they're doing is forgiving your past utility bills, but it's an income requirement. You can't make more than seventy-two thousand dollars. Now, how do you like that? <laughs> now, that's incredible to me, isn't it? Okay, okay. Now here's uh, uh, oh, homeless money. There's a lot of program that's going out to help the homeless and various, you know, thinking about a homeless, mainly homeless, can't pay the rent, mortgage. What do you do when you're homeless? Uh, legal help to go to court for your homeless, all kind of thing. Uh, but here in San Francisco, there's 10 nonprofit organizations just got $40 million to help homeless people. See, it's not a government office. See, that's the other thing. What the government does is get this money and give it to nonprofit organizations to solve the problem. Because that way they don't have to hire people and give them a pension forever or whatever. You get the nonprofit to worry about that, okay? Uh, oh, here's another thing too. Community development block grants. Now, every county has them. Every city has them. This is a big chunk of money uh, that comes out of the uh, HUD and goes to local organizations to spend how they think they have to do it. You know, so a local community maybe has more of a problem with uh, uh, with uh, uh, you know kids or something like that, or seniors, or or homeless, or uh, whatever. Now, see, they could use your local government could use this money to for home repair programs for. Uh, housing nonprofits, so if you're a nonprofit trying to get people in housing, uh, and also, listen to this, it also provides forgivable loans for people who are home buyers. Isn't that great? So this is forgivable loans for people who are That's why these programs, the cool programs for buying a home are not from Chase or <laughs> Wells Fargo or whatever. No, they're from programs like this. You think Wells Fargo is ever going to have a forgivable loan? <laughs> what are they going to do with all the yachts that are sitting in the Hudson River? <laughs> for the Wall Street guys, no, they can't. They can't pay their yacht payment on a forgivable loan. It's government, baby, uh, and that's why if you're looking for things, you want to find the local housing program. You know, and there may be a, a national one or two. Yes, you don't want to ignore them, but it's local. You know, and if you're a member, uh, uh, ask us for a copy of the Lesco Meta Grant Report. Because once you get that report, item number seven in that report shows you seven, oh, how, how many fingers is seven? <laughs> seven uh, nonprofit organizations where you live that help people with housing, buying a house, and they're most likely to know those programs. I mean, your uh, realtors don't make money off of these because <laughs> nobody's making money out of them. So they work on commissions. So they got to sell you some uh, to get paid. See, in government, gets paid whether you use it or not. So that's what's so nice, is that you get a fair 
explanation to. Instead of calling somebody who's making money off of you, uh, he's going to more likely point you in a direction where they're going to make a little more money <laughs> as opposed to somebody's giving away money and it doesn't change their life at all. Uh, could give you a square uh, answer about what's good and bad about uh, the best things for you. Uh, okay, here's a local program that has $2 million to make homes for seniors and children safer. So maybe there's, you know, you got a bad porch, people falling through, or uh, I don't know, you know, chemicals in the house, all this stuff. So they got $2 million locally again, local, local, local. These are local programs. That's why you have to look for that, you know, just to make your home safe. So it's a home repair uh, uh, program for people. Uh, uh, oh, this is a cool one. Uh, in Tennessee, what they're doing is training people with financial counseling, but they have a grant. They give you $5,000 grant in emergency grant money. So you sign up for a program. It's really to take away, get people out of payday loans. Uh, Tennessee, I think it's Memphis they are, they have more payday loan offices per capita than anywhere else in the country. The payday loan people in Tennessee could charge you 459% interest. You hear that? You're paying 459% interest. 459% interest. Man, these people should have a gun and a mask. What the hell they say? They have a, a store to see by all the public. 459% interest. Would Jesus let them in the temple? <laughs> I'm not a, a, a Bible guy, but uh, you, you know, I mean, that you know, he threw these money changers out of the temple. I mean, as a little kid, I heard that somewhere. It may or may not be right, but the Bible may or may not be right, too. Uh, so who knows? Uh, but that, so that's why, see, local, okay? The local people, financial counselors, they know about these gangsters. Uh, they, they're smart enough. Gangsters are smart people. <laughs> Yeah, that's how you make people that think Trump is dumb. Man, he's a smart son of a bitch. Look at how he's able to wiggle through all this stuff. It's amazing. Uh, so it, it, they get laws passed, you know, and that's why they're able to get laws passed that they pay for 450% uh, uh, interest. A bank can't because they're under a different regulation. They can, you'll never see a 10% even loan at a bank. Uh, Oh, I guess 10, 12, or whatever, you know, and even credit card companies, you up to 20s is, is uh, uh, so amazing, I think. Uh, but that's, uh, what, where is that now? Uh, home, seniors, okay, so five, five, nine. and that, you know, just stay away from payday loans, no matter, go to findhelp.org and put financial assistance and then you find other nonprofit organizations will help you with that. Uh, HUD.gov, uh, HUD.gov slash counseling, also nonprofit organizations that help you uh, with your financial problems. And uh, there, there's you know, a, a method to all this. If you haven't done it before, you need help because otherwise you just worry the shit out of you. you know, and, and, and then you get sick inside from the worry. So you don't want to do that. Okay, here, uh, a grant they're giving out in New Hampshire for $300,000 to start a food-related business. There's so many communities in our, uh, uh, in our country that what they call food deserts. You know, all they have is McDonald's. You, know, you can't get healthy food anywhere. So if you want to start a business get, selling healthy food to people, they have a great $300,000. You know, that is pretty cool. Okay, uh, $25,000 to grant to pay past and future rent if the court evicts you. In other words, if you go to court, you know, and, and from with your landlord, and your landlord wants to get in, uh, evict you, and you say, "Well, I'm going to go to go to court," and, and you lose, and they evict you, then this program gives you twenty five thousand dollars to pay that past rent and future rent, and the problem goes away. Now, also about eviction, when you get an eviction later letter, or you're worried about an eviction letter, this is who you call right away. You go to this website, just, J-U-S-T, shelter, S-H-E-L-T-E-R. You go, they have a map of the United States, and you want to find the free legal help in your area because you may be faced with eviction. You want to get that on your side because if you have a lawyer, you win 90% of the time. This is data that people have done, scientists and you know, researchers or whatever, that people who went to court with a lawyer win their case 90% of the time. 
people who go without a lawyer win only 30%. So you have a big chance of losing, <laughs> is what it means, if you don't have a lawyer. You have a hell of a great chance of winning if you have a lawyer. Now that's enough right there, right? Okay, and the lawyers are free. I mean, be different. Oh, you gotta pay 10 grand to lawyer. No, you don't, okay? Uh, where are we? Lots of money left to give people to pay rent. Yes, another rental assistance. I mean, this is in California. They have so much rent money, they're begging people. <laughs> now, they'll give you $5,000 to help you with back, back rent. Everybody say, so you'll call, see what happened, you'll call some agencies, and, and particularly that were hooked up to what's called uh, the government COVID emergency rental assistance program, and a lot of that money is gone. There's still a lot left, but there's still a lot of it gone. So if you um, looking around for rental grants and you run into one of those, they say, oh, we ran out of money. That's fine, but keep looking because that's only one program. See, here's another one that they have too much money they got to give away. They got to advertise. It's the first time I've seen advertise that rent. Okay, that's my, uh, I'm going to put this list with the links. You want to know about that? Uh, I'll put it in uh, the description in uh, YouTube, okay, after I finish this. Now, let me take some questions to paying members, okay? You guys on YouTube, <laughs> you freeloader. No, I love you. Don't worry. Uh, uh, I'll be back a little bit, I mean, uh, uh, when I have time. Today's a busy day for me, so I want to help. My folks here have that. Uh, do we have Megan? Do you ever come back? Uh, anybody see Megan come back yet? She was said she had to go to another computer. Maybe it never worked. Uh, Dora Rod is struggling like money. I have applied for grants locally and was told that there were only two grants available. Well, I told uh, get hold of there were only two available. Well, that's two to start, you know. Uh, you apply to everything. What do you want to do, Dora? I, I think I've seen you around a bunch. Uh, and so you know my normal pattern. What do you want to do? Because maybe there are other ways to solve the problem. Uh, if we brainstorm a little about that. Okay, Allison, please help me out. Travis, what, what do you need help with? Uh, Frank, and don't forget, on Let's Go Help, we have something called the uh, Question Corner. Put your question there. Uh, hey, I'm in Nevada. Is there anything you know in Nevada? Uh, I just signed up here. Yes. Okay, the first thing you have to do, uh, Travis, is to get a, a, a copy of the Lesco Meta Grant Report. Okay, the Lesco Meta Grant Report. Let's see if I could get that for you. Uh, and also, look on the left-hand side for uh, our grants. We have personal grants. And then also on the left-hand side for the state mini grant report. Every state has, um, we have a report for every state and we have some problems with some of those links. So be careful if they don't go like they should. We're working on that now. Uh, but here is the meta grant report and, and debt. Yes, Jill, look at the Lesco meta grant report. I got it all there. How, how to, uh, who to talk to, to pay as little as only 10% of what you owe. And you don't don't call an accountant or attorney because they're just going to take a lot of money from you, uh, and you can do it yourself. So, oh, does that was that the? What did I do? No, I think I gave the twelve. <laughs> I gave you the twelve thing. Okay, I got to do that. I gave you the wrong thing. Okay, here is the Metagrant. The uh, Metagrant report, please. Yes. Okay. Uh, Oh, God, why can't, doesn't taste and cut and paste there. So I got to cut and paste somewhere else. Uh, maybe, 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 please make this work. Please make this work. Yes, make the report. Okay, also on um, what you want to do is, uh, let's go help two. You want to go to this link, uh, explore. Oh, they put 500 in this search bar up there. Uh, oh, not 550. Let's go, you dumb shit. What are you doing that for? Okay, st state, 500 mini grant reports, okay? You want to download that, and then you could download every, a report for every uh, state in America, and that will give you the best starting places for any problem you have, okay? Uh, so the two questions I... St 
uh, oh, that's meta report. I, that, why doesn't that? Uh, let's go back. Uh, and uh, yeah, I'm cutting and paste and it. Da, 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 da. Why doesn't that work uh, today? I'm just an old fart who makes a lot of mistakes. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, yeah, now come on. Work, baby, work, work, work. Don't, don't mess with my brain here. Copy. I think what, I can't do two things at a time. I used to do 30 at a time. But at this age, ah, you know, two's a little tough sometimes. <laughs> and stuff keeps falling out of the back of my head. Uh, I look around in the back and see all the words I, for, I was looking for. <laughs> and they're now sitting on the floor. Uh, thank you for doing See, Michelle is a, a member helping people and uh, showing her love for others. And, and that is just uh, terrific. Okay, now the other people that had questions I was trying to answer. Uh, Travis, uh, how to get going for grants in Nevada. Okay, Travis, look at the, the two reports I just put in um, the chat. One is for your state for Nevada, and the other one is the Let's Go uh, for Everything. Okay, uh, oh, Mohammed uh, from Virginia. Okay, same thing. They're the places to look for. Are there any low cost interest loans for people with bad credit? Can't pay out. Yes, first don't look for a loan. Okay, first go and talk to a counselor. Okay, uh, and, and you, you look at item number three. Okay, item number three, it tells you about uh, talking to a counselor first uh, at, at HUD and do that. I really need a grant to expand my business. Been in business 20 years, uh, a painful uh, print, print ball and outdoor. Oh, cool. Uh, I need to. Uh, uh, where are you located, Dora? Uh, you know, item number five, what you start looking for is people, consultants in the area that get grants to help you improve your business and they do it for free. So they help you find money, they help you find information or whatever it is you need, okay? Help you think through how the best way you could do to grow that business, okay? Don't have me, I don't know much about it. Paintball, I think I played once, was fun. <laughs> uh, and and uh, it, it's... Number five, Dora. You want to look at number five and make an appointment. There's separate uh, nonprofits for just women entrepreneurs, even other nonprofits for all, people with disability entrepreneurs. You call them and ask them. They, see, everybody's gone through this before, and you're sitting there trying to solve the problem when somebody's solved problems like this a hundred times. So uh, they know it's sort of like uh, uh, you know you call a plumber to fix your toilet because you're going to try it the first time. It's going to cost you a lot of money, and you may may not fix it or make it worse. Uh, can you please send me help uh, for rent in Washington State? Yes, uh, uh, Lackawanna. Oh, John. Okay, in item number three, that is there. It shows you. Okay, first you have trouble paying one rent. You make an appointment with a free financial counselor, and it's there in the beginning. The HUD counseling. I make an appointment, then you follow the uh, the descriptions below that it shows you what to do in help with rent. How to find the national program, I take you through a video, and all the links are there. Uh, you contact them, and, and then you go to the local program, and that's really f through findhelp.org. Uh, and, and, and it may be calling 10, 20 people to see if you can make it happen. That's what it's all about. And I describe it in item number three, okay, in the Lesco Meta Grant Report. Uh, and starting a business, I am disabled. Okay, the item number uh, three, uh, item number five for starting a business is great because it shows you about, there's a special nonprofit organizations that help people with disabilities uh, start businesses, uh, and that's there. But also the, uh, the programs for everybody else. See, whether you're a veteran, people with disabilities, sure, there's separate programs for that, but don't ignore the program for everybody, whether you're a disability or not, you know, because there's more of those, <laughs> so you use them all. And the important thing is that if one doesn't work, you find more. If one doesn't work, you find more. That's the only way you say it. If, if you don't get a job at this company, you go find another company. And you keep doing that until you get it. There's no shortcut, unfortunately. Well, like be, we try to get it down. See, I mean, I feel before this, before me, be able to narrow this down for you, you had Google. you never find anything in Google. Please do not ever use Google if you don't, uh, you know, been in some business for a long time and you know what you're doing. 
Uh, it's like giving somebody a gun. <laughs> you don't know what you're doing. It could be dangerous. If you do, it's not. Okay. Why am I getting emails from you saying, because we're screwed up? That's right, Joanne. <laughs> My payment was clear. Yeah, uh, if you want to make sure you could see your, yeah, I, I, mailing lists people are terrible. We work on that every day and still don't get it right. I apologize. You could be easily taken off the email list and not be uh, bothered with anybody. So on the bottom of every email we send you, it, there's a place you could click and say, take me off the goddamn list. Let's go. <laughs> and enough of your shit. Yeah. And, and that's fine uh, because you can get all this stuff here uh, and not be pestered. Um, uh, because it's, we use it for marketing and it's very successful as marketing because if we don't get new members, <laughs> we won't be here very long. Uh, so that's important. Uh, what states are these in? Every state. Yeah, every state. Uh, why am I getting emails? Can you please help me rent Washington State and starting a business? Okay, the rent is item number three. Starting a business is item number five. And make sure you see the, the one for uh, d people with disabilities. That's important. Oh, okay. Can I go now, mommy? <laughs> can I go out and play, mommy? <laughs> can I? Can I please? Hi. Yes. Yes. Uh, yes, Jackie. I think I just uh, mentioned to you. It's called uh, the uh, uh, offer. O F F. In compromise. Okay, that's the government, uh, the IRS men for it. Go to our, uh, our section in Let's Go Meta Grant Reports on taxes, and you'll see a complete video. Actually, we have a member, a wonderful woman, uh, Tula, who used it, and she had like a, uh, she had to pay only 10% of what she owed. It was like 50 grand. She only had to pay 10 grand. Yeah, uh, so she's uh, uh, the queen of this. <laughs> And in those links, I, I also have a video uh, I did with her and I interviewed her for that. So let me go, guys. I, I uh, have a great rest of your day, Matthew. Yes, Michelle. Michelle, w w did you want a, a, a shirt or something like that that I see somewhere? I don't, you know, with uh, trying to, un oh, that was you. Uh, send me uh, an email, okay? And uh, if you don't hear from me, um, send it twice. Yeah, I'll get you a whole wardrobe. Don't worry, okay? <laughs> Just I gotta remember. <laughs> so beat on me, please. I want to be beat on. Thank you. Oh, thank you, everybody, so very much. It's just greatest life I've ever dreamed about. Yes, uh, okay, that's number three. I gotta run now, okay? Let's, uh, Lacana, and item number three in the Lesco Menogram report. Thank you, Michelle. Oh, that makes it my life, opens my heart. And that's all I wanna do, is open my heart more and more and more. <laughs>